Hello everyone. Today our topic is urinary system. We have discussed the digestive system. Our body have a digestive system in order to eliminate waste out of the body. But there are many metabolic waste which are continuously circulating in the blood stream. So our body has a urinary system in order to filtrate that waste and expel it out of the body. The chief organ of urinary system are kidneys. We all have two bean shaped kidneys. The main function of kidney is to regulate water, volume, blood pH, erythropoietin production. In function which are important for urinary system are constant filtration of blood returning of necessary components the blood and maintain blood volume. Knees are present in lumbar region, and they are protected by the rib cage. This is the adrenal gland. Each kidney surrounds by supportive tissue. Which are made up of three layers. Uppermost layer is renal fascia. And this renal fascia helps the urine to secure its position. The second layer, peridinal fat capsule, Peridinal fat capsule cushions the kidney
the innermost part of kidney and the innermost supportive tissue layer is called fibrous capsule these fibrous capsule protects the kidney they prevent infection to spread into the kidney the functional and structural unit of kidney are nephrons how the urine production takes place this urine production takes place in three major steps filtration reabsorption and secretion the urine production starts with this glomerular filtration where the blood is forced through filtration membrane into the glomerular capsule this glomerular capsule is a network of blood capillaries where the oxygenated blood contain nutrients and waste enters through afferent atrial into the glomerulus this glomerular capsule allows water and small solutes to pass through them but they don't allow proteins and entire cells to pass through them this is the filtration which we have discussed the next is tubular reabsorption the tubular reabsorption takes place or starts with proximal convoluted tubule within the proximal convoluted tubule Potassium chloride, potassium, glucose, amino acids, bicarbonates, urea, water. All these components reabsorbed 
विद इन द प्रोक्सिमल कॉन्वल्यूटी ट्यूब्यू सो मोस्ट ऑफ द फिल्ट्रेट गोज बैक टू द ब्लड and those components which doesn't go back will become urine in descending loop of henle the reabsorption of water takes place in ascending loop of henle the reabsorption of sodium chloride and potassium takes place in distal convoluted tubule the reabsorption of sodium chloride calcium calcium magnesium bicarbonates takes place in secretion tubular secretion the tubular secretion is opposite to the tubular reabsorption the components of blood join feel free like drugs and other metabolites so urine so urine will be a combination of substances that were filtered and were secreted and the last one is excretion once the urine is once the urine is formed within the kidney it is transferred through the cylindrical structure which are called ureters into the bladder the bladder stores the urine in last the urine contain water which is made up of lots of urea which is the result of breakdown of amino acids as well as nitrogenous waste like uric acid retinine This is all about the urinary system of human body. I hope you understand this lecture. Subscribe my channel and share it with your friend. Thank you.